got nothing. No food whatsoever. We got about two bottles of water for the four of us for two days. Well, boys, we did uh, miss the ferry. It is, it is gone. It is peeing rain right now. Ouch. What is going on guys? We are back on another episode of DC Bronzies. My name is Tyler and today we are doing a smallmouth bass catch and cook and we are on an island right now. If you guys haven't seen the first video of us camping and surviving on this island, you guys are going to want to go check that out. I'll have that linked because that video will be coming first. It's it's going to be good. It's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to see how these fish taste. I haven't had a smallmouth in years. So we're going to get right into it, get down fishing, catch some smallies, and cook some up. We've got the stuff, got the gear, got the rods. We got the water. We got Brian. Boom. We got spike ball getting set up over there. Got the boathouse. Got some boats. We're gonna have a fun night, try to catch some fish right now, see if the fish are around. Um, talked to some guys that said they were about, he got about 10 or so, so we're gonna fish. It's getting kind of dark, so we gotta start. And uh, I'm gonna give a rod to Brian, and you're gonna catch some fish? Yeah. Let's go, baby. Well, guys, we are fishing, I'm using my crappy rods. <laughs> I got no line on this reel at all. Let's see if we can catch some smallies over here. That's gotta be a tiny, oh, you came off? Oh, oh, it's a goby. You just caught a massive goby. <laughs> Let me see that. Dang, bro. Don't pull him all the way up. Here, swing him over here. Can I get a pick of that? Pick with that? Sure. Hold it in the mouth. <laughs> Should I? I bet some smallies are munching on that. Oh, oh baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Right, I got really good luck. Nice. Flip her up here. I don't want to. Just flip it. That's fine. The line's strong. Nice. Oh, we're gonna be eating good tonight, like boys. AG. We can't keep this though. We can't. It's not 14 inches. It's gotta be 14 is it a? Inches. What is it? A large mouth? Oh, get a picture of me with it. Yeah. Right, get right in there. there. Grab him in the oh, he's got a goby in his mouth. Look. Keep <laughs> 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 Brian's recording right now. <laughs> get a picture of me with it. <laughs> right here. I have right, notoriously good luck. So Alex just pulled in the first fish. Hell yeah. He's got, he has no idea how to fish the way we're fishing, but yes, he I did do. it. Yes, I do. No, you never yeah, I do. I've guaranteed. done it before. You, you fish with spoons and pans. <laughs> no, I fish with these two. I fish with these two. No, That's just how I catch water. What are they called? Move it slower. You're going way too fast. I you used to. Drag it. Uh, I just who's use the one these, who caught the I fish? I use these rubber little fish. Uh, Tyler, we're having fun though. We just took a couple casts. Of course, Alex catches the first fish because he's lucky. Um, I am lucky and skilled. And skilled. Oh, I'm skilled. So Alex just caught the fish. The boys are out on the dock over here. We're filming on the phone. Alex just caught this one. It's 14 inches. Um, so we're gonna go flame him up. I actually just humanely put him out, pop the gills so he'd bleed out. He already bled out. And so we're gonna go flame him up and have some nice fish uh, for lunch today. So we're gonna head back to the campsite, go get this this thing uh, cleaned up, and have the boys eat some fish. As we're grabbing the supplies, we got. The old Rapala fillet knife. We've got some breading somewhere in here. Uh, where, there it is. Some shore lunch. Classic shore lunch breading. We're gonna throw that in a bag. We're gonna get the flaying going and uh, get this fish ready. All right, guys. We've got all the supplies here. We've got our oil. We've got our frying pan. We've got our burner. Um, we've got the knife. We've got our breading and some bags. So we're gonna start off by preparing kind of the stuff for the fish before we actually flay the fish. So we're just gonna cut the breading open here, we'll open up a bag. All right, pouring all that breading out. Fish is gonna get covered in that. A little shore launch action going on here. We're just going to seal that up for now. Got the oil already. The burner's ready to go. And we are ready. So we're going to go get to flaying the fish. So we've got our smallmouth here. Never, never played a smallmouth before, but it shouldn't be any different than a, than a regular fish. What up? Afternoon. 
good afternoon, James. Look at that incision. That should be his new name. The fish doctor? Yeah. It's hot. I haven't played fish in a long time, so hopefully I don't mess up. Looks like some nice meat. Uh, the fillet from the skin. I did not do the greatest job as I haven't filleted since probably this winter. So, I'm doing my best to get as much meat off as possible. Well, and it's hard to fillet on a plastic bag. All right, so that's, that's a pretty nice fillet. Not bad. And we'll get on to the next one. All right, we're gonna... Is that going? Add a little more oil, Ben. We're gonna wash off the fillets here. This is all we need. We need a little more oil. oil. Yeah. Oh, wait. Cause it's gonna burn off in the food. I cook every day. You, I cook that, every this is, this No, you like, don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I absolutely do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. What do you cook? I right. cook, um, I don't know, whatever we have. I cook it in a pan. <laughs> All right, one filet. There's more Two filets. oil than I've ever used. Up. Shake her around. Don't make it blow up, though. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, boys. Look at those flays. Really nice. Nice flays. We're going to turn up the heat a little bit, I think. Extra <laughs> crispy. Um, they look like chicken tenders, kind of. Alright, guys, we are all finished. We just turned the burner off. The fish is right here, looking pretty good. We got a golden brown, a little bit of char, unfortunately, but that's not a big deal because there's hardly any there. So the boys are gonna try it. I think everyone's hungry. Alex is already feasting on his trail mix. <laughs> so we're gonna try her out and see how it is. Don't zoom in on me. That's good. All right, we've got the fish, looking pretty good. We're gonna take the first bite. Here we go. First bite. I feel like Alex should have the first bite. Yeah, Alex should have the first Too bite. Too late. I don't know what he's doing. Alright. Dang, that's pretty good. <laughs> My bad. Alright, well. I got first. I already did. First I already ate some. Wait, what are you This is good. Take a, take a piece. Let's see what you think. This is really good, actually. Wait, why do you eat so many, like, bean stuff? <laughs> bean? It's protein? It's organic. And, yeah. First bites. That's some good fish, not gonna lie. It tastes like success. Success. Oh, Tyler, I thought you were lying when you said that that was good fish. It tastes like, uh, I don't know. It kind of tastes like walleye, sort of. Mm -hmm. I agree. Got to eat some nice base. How about we it's take... Like, it's actually really... I'm like, not even kidding. It's actually really How good. How about we take bites in a draft format? We can right, do a here, we go. here we go. So. Ben hasn't even gotten one. All right, boys. True. Full on. This is what you call a straight catch and cook meal. Okay. Ben goes... Brian already ate his apparently. Yep, I guess I'm about heart. to eat mine. Pretty good, isn't it? Ben, choose your That's fresh. Food. Really good. Ben, you're... Well, guys, that was actually super good. First time having smallmouth in a really long time. First time flaying a smallie. I think the boys agreed that it was pretty darn good. They're feasting over there. Um, yeah, so that was a ton of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the view. Go subscribe down below. But until next time, we will see you on the next episode of DC Bronzies. Yo, but we're not see ya. camping.